Hey guys, I'm Alistair from Trail & Kale Running Co. I'm back out on the trails testing a new trail running shoe. It's from the Merrill Test Lab and the shoe is the Long Sky 2. And that's these running shoes here. I'm just a regular guy who absolutely loves running and reviewing the latest running shoes and gear. My 5k PR is 20 minutes, which I'm always trying to beat. I've run countless ultra marathons around the world, and my favorite distance is the cheeky half marathon. Road or trail, I love running on them both. I'm not afraid to let you know when a running shoe is crap, but also you're definitely gonna know when one blows me away. Either way, our independent running shoe reviews are always 100% honest, reliable, and hopefully you'll come away from this video having learned something new. So this is my first time reviewing an MTL Merrill Test Lab trail running shoe and I've been looking to get my hands on these for quite some time just because when you review so many shoes you kind of know what a good running shoe looks like especially in the trail world and the Long Sky 2 and the Skyfire 2 for that matter both look really cool nice and minimal and you know they're just going to be well suited for mountain running. Who are the Merrill Test Lab Long Sky 2 trail running shoes for then? Well, they're very lightweight trail running shoes designed for very rugged terrain and for anyone who really wants to kind of scramble and anyone who's got very quick changes in speed, direction and vertical gain and descent. So, I mean, the clue is in the name. They're called the Long Sky for a reason. They're for sky running. Now, if you're not familiar with sky running, definitely head up there where I've written an article about it. I'll probably put a video together as well for those who enjoy watching our YouTube videos. Effectively, a sky race is a race that starts off down the bottom of a village or at a base camp. And then it climbs up a mountain, or could just be a very steep hill, and then over maybe half a marathon distance. That's my favorite distance, by the way. And the sky race is my favorite race. So I'm very excited about these shoes, as you can probably tell. But yes, you climb up that mountain and then you quickly descend the other side or back down the way you came. So it's a very fast, high intensity, thrilling race. Definitely my favorite type of race. I just love going all out, full intensity, climbing as fast as I can and then throwing myself back down the mountain, uh, hopefully on my feet. And that's the race I absolutely love. You'll find a lot of those types of races in the French Alps or in the European Alps which coincidentally is where we're gonna be in just a few weeks. We're heading over to Annecy. Uh, we're gonna explore that area, have a lot of fun, probably drive up to Chamonix, maybe go to Morzine. If you've got any tips for us uh, in the Morzine area, because we haven't been there before, let us know in the comments. I wanna know where it's good for coffee. I wanna know some of your favorite trail routes for running. So does Kepler, just in case we go back there with him one day. So yeah, please give me any tips you got in the comments down below. All right, so now you know who they're for and what they're designed to do best. Let's go over the key statistics really quickly and what those features and technical jargon actually means for you on your run. First off, they cost $160. I will let you know by the end of this review whether I believe they're worth that $160 price tag. How do they fit and how do they feel? Well, they're true to size and that goes for length and width. Excuse me ducking down right now. It's getting quite windy out here, so I don't want to compromise the audio quality. So I am squatting very undignified, I know. He does it all the time. Why can't I? The upper is using Matrix technology, M-A-T-R-Y-X. Effectively what that is, is multi-filament threads of Kevlar combined with high tenacity polyamide to create a single layer of material that is breathable and strong. The midsole is using a two-part dual density float pro foam. Now it is very responsive. So if you are looking for a highly cushioned plush trail running shoe, these running shoes are not gonna be for you. They are, like I said before, kind of for sky running. With that said, when you're running technical terrain, steep, fast, uh, descents, all that kind of stuff, you need a responsive shoe. You need to be able to feel the tra trail beneath you and you need to be able to respond to that trail quickly. And that's where these minimal trail running shoes do really well. And a lot of that has to do with the midsole, but also the outsole, which is using Vibram's Mega Grip. I've been talking about Mega Grip quite a lot recently, and I probably sound like a broken record, but that's because so many running brands are putting this rubber compound into their trail running shoes outsole. 
And for good reason, it's damn good. If you watched my Nike Pegasus Trail 5 review earlier this week or last week, I'm losing track of time, babies. Then you'll know they are using Nike's new ATC all-terrain compound, which was actually surprisingly good. Pegasus Trail 5 is so much better than the Pegasus Trail 4 that came before it. So definitely go watch that one if you're looking for kind of an all-terrain uh, road trail crossover shoe. But anyway, Vibrance Mega Grip is still at the top. It's very hard to beat. And for good reason, traction is just insanely good on the uphills, but also the downhills. The lugs on the outsole here actually have a five millimeter kind of depth to them. So they are very deep, clearly designed to dig into mud and dig into the trail or claw in as you're climbing up. I will let you know throughout this run how it performs on steep climbs because I do actually have a lot of them on this run, as you can see behind me. Hopefully, I mean, that's where I'm going. It's just very much, I wouldn't say bushwhacking, but it's very much going up steep gullies and I will be coming down them as well. So perfect for testing the long sky too. The drop from heel to toe is four millimeters, which again is just what you want for feeling the trail. You want to be as natural as possible. And the stack height's very low as well. At the heel, you'll find 23 and a half millimeters from the ground. And at the toe, it's 19 and a half millimeters off the ground. So pretty low profile, and I do already feel like I'm feeling the trail very nicely. Finally, for the stats, they weigh 8.9 ounces, which is very lightweight for a trail running shoe like this. It is 15% lighter than the previous Long Sky trail running shoe. I don't have any experience with that shoe, but for any of you that do, you'll be pleased to know that it's even lighter now. If you're enjoying this video please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this one and if you haven't visited our blog yet please do go check it out we got loads of roundups of the best gear on there and also in-depth reviews with lots of pictures and tips training plans we've developed all these training plans for you guys to take for free so please go check them out as well damn i'm loving these so far they're exceptional at climbing and they really suit my running style very well. They're kind of designed for sky running and that's what I love doing. I love just pushing hard. My favorite distance, as I said before, is around a half marathon. That doesn't stop me doing ultras, of course, because I love the challenge. And the journey of just running an ultra is second to none in its own way. But fast running uphills, downhills, even on flats, not for too long on the flats or you know solid ground flats because they are very responsive and quite firm. They perform just so well on climbing and technical downhills. That's where they're most fun. That's where they do their job the best. What makes them so good for climbing then? Well, a few reasons. Number one, they're very lightweight. Number two, that outsole traction. Yes, yeah, Vibram, we all know Vibram's mega grip is awesome. But five millimeter lugs, these are so aggressive. And they just claw into the trail. Really help you grab and stick into the trail when you're climbing steep climbs. Um, they're also very breathable. That matrix upper that I mentioned before. Super durable, but also very breathable. It's a very hot day here in California today. It's about 11 o'clock. So it's getting up there with almost the hottest part of the day. Um, so that's really good. I'm able to test durability. Of course, that makes my run a lot harder, but we love a challenge. Next up, the reason is the lacing system. It's very good fit around the midfoot, cradles it, hugs your feet in place. A very nice secure fit. One area where I believe they could be improved is the heel lock. It's not perfect, but it doesn't seem to affect performance for me. You could do a racer's loop heel lock lacing method. Put a link up there if you're not familiar with that, but that basically helps lock a shoe around your heel to give 
just a better tighter fit so your heel doesn't slip out of a shoe but in this case it doesn't work because the tongue is quite short so if you're using that top loop or eyelet to do the racers loop method then the laces sit on the top of your foot here and not on the tongue so I did try that didn't really work so I went back to the traditional lacing method and it doesn't you know there's a tiny amount of slip but it doesn't really affect performance on uphill climbs so I'm really happy so far with how they're climbing it's a lot of fun really lends itself well to running trails like this in Northern California where you have a lot of steeps and downs and hard terrain and technical rocky sections as well so yes loving how they climb I've also used them on flat sections I said before they're very firm and responsive running shoes so if you have long long flat running sections on buffed rocky hard terrain um, where there aren't a huge amount of climbs then you might be looking for or well, you might prefer a shoe with probably a thicker stack height uh, something like the Hoka Speed Goat 6 check out that review that shoe would also be very good it's very good for this type of terrain also climbing as well but because it's got a thicker stack height and a more cushioned midsole it's better for longer runs ultra marathons and just running flat sections on hard terrain like like this because it's got the padding and cushioning underfoot these ones however are really good for up to half marathon distance you've got total control on the trails i am going to be running all the way back down this 300 meter climb that i have done so far today so I will get to test them out on the downhills and I'll let you know how they perform on that but I already know they're going to be good I've got enough experience to know how a shoe performs within the first 10 minutes of running in them so I'm very excited to take these on the downhill thrash them and let you know how I get on I think Kepler's tired what do you reckon Kepler you tired you tired say woof woof <laughs> no he's never tired let's go Today we've gone with a Swiss bandana for Kepler. What do you reckon, dapper? Be sure to give this video a like, just to show appreciation for the Swiss Alps and of course Kepler. Quick note, if there is a shoe that you really want me to review that I haven't reviewed yet, please let me know in the comments and I will get hold of that shoe and I will put a video together for you. And by the way, that includes road and trail running shoes. We review both, that's myself and Helen. That trail and kill, road trail, doesn't matter, we love it all. We are just runners. If you're on Instagram and you haven't joined us yet, definitely head over there and follow at trail and kill. That's our account where you will see glimpses of what we get up to in real life. Hopefully get to know us better, you know, converse with us on there. We like to meet you guys you know the people who watch our videos and engage with us so definitely head over there follow us get to know our family get to know the trails we like to run around the world and also get sneak peeks on new running shoes that come in before i put the reviews out there i kind of give a few insights on the shoes that are coming in and why i'm excited about them Just as predicted, the Long Sky 2 performs insanely good on the downhills. I've been running, as you've just seen, it might be hard to see, but there's quite a lot of high frequency rocks on those downhills. Perfect kind of terrain for rolling your ankles. So you need a stable shoe to be able to run down that stuff fast. Oh, the Long Sky 2, they are awesome. So responsive, so much control and I can really feel the terrain beneath me. I'm connected to the trail. Merrill Test Lab, I can't commend you enough. You guys know what you're doing. I'm gonna be following you much, much closer from now on. Absolutely love these ones. I'm excited to see how the Skyfire 2 get on as well. But uh, yeah, so far I really haven't found that much bad about these shoes. There's that slight issue with the heel lock that became a total non-issue by the end of it. The big question then, are they worth $160? Yes, 100% they're worth $160, just do it. If you've been watching this video all the way through and you made it to this point, then you probably know if these running shoes are gonna be for you because of the type of running 
that I said I like to do and that you probably like to do that's why you're watching this video so yes right now you really can't go with much of a better shoe if you do plan to run up to half marathon distance on technical terrain um, these shoes can handle it all they are insanely good Kudos to Merrill Test Lab. Who are the closest competitors right now? Well, I'm going to have to say probably the Hoka Zinal 2 and also the Salomon S Lab Pulsar 3. Well, thanks for watching this Merrill Test Lab Long Sky 2 review. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more running shoe reviews just like this one. And remember to hit that notification bell. That will let you know as soon as our new videos drop. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you next time. Peace.